What up? This is No Laces. I am Antonio Lamar. And today I'm going to talk about the cornerback competition. As Brent Venables has spoke about it in a recent press conference. Now, he was asked a simple question. How have the Oklahoma's cornerbacks grown since December's Alamo Bowl? But if you know Brent Venables like we know him, <laughs> he likes to go on long tangents about everything, pretty much. He'll, he could talk about anything for an hour, for sure. But he went on a seven-minute response when asked the question in the Big 12 Media Day session. And then he spoke about, you know, the uh, buy-in, the individual strengths, and spoke about the importance of personal belief and the power of the tongue, according to Eli Letterman of the Tulsa World. He dropped praise for veteran defensive back Woody Washington, freshman Gentry Williams, and transfer C.J. Colden, too. Along the way here and there, Venables even got a few breaths in. <laughs> A little after the two-minute mark in his response, the 51-year-old coach hit on the original question, delivering his clearest answer on the off-season development of a position group OU needs to be better in 2022. How we started in the spring to where we are at now, Venables explained, man, I've been so excited about that group and the depth that we've added. As the Sooners, August 4th report date approaches Venables, likes the collection of cornerbacks who will man the back end of the defense in his debut season and the progress they have made since the end of the 2021 season. Returners such as Washington, DJ Graham, Jaden Davis give Venables an OU experience to work with. And in transfers, Colden, Trey Morrison, and Kenai Walker, alongside newcomers like Williams, the former Booker T. Washington star, and union freshman Jaden Rowe, the offseason has provided the Sooners an infusion of talent and depth at the position. Venables is confident in the man of defensive backs, and on paper, they hold promise. But in order for the former national champion defensive coordinator to overhaul OU's defense, he will need much more from the group that allowed 261.8 passing yards per game and finished ninth in pass defense across the Big 12 last year. We got a good, strong group of guys that maybe their past hasn't necessarily been indicative of what they're capable of, Venable said. And a lot of times, they'll be the first ones to tell you they take a lot, a lot of responsibility into that, too. Here's what else Venables in Washington, the Red Shirt Jr., had to say about the OU cornerbacks in Arlington last week. Colden made 82 tackles in 25 career games at Wyoming from 2018 to 2021. With the cornerback spots not fully settled for OU entering fall camp, Colden will have the opportunity to compete for a starting job next month. I've just seen confidence in him, Washington said of Colden. He has great quick lightning feet at the line, uses his hands well, has great eye discipline, he has all the tools to be in a lead corner. Perhaps Colden's stiffest competition for the starting role will come from Graham, a junior who appeared in 12 games last fall and gained national fame from his eye-popping interception against Nebraska last fall. DJ's going to be great for us this year, Washington said. Everyone looks at him for that catch, but he's way more than that, Washington said. He's a great tackler, but nobody talks about that. He's a great player all around. Williams comes to Norman for year one as the number two ranked recruit in the state of Oklahoma in his class, and Venables knows that he's getting the, uh, with the former corner. What I loved about watching Gentry Williams was, man, he was tough, Venables said. He's a skills guy. He's a skill guy, but he's tough. He's a DB. He's a corner that played in the B gap, you know, come off the edge, you know, played quarterback, ran jet sweeps, and stoning people in the run game. You know, just play with toughness that you can't coach. On Jaden on Jaden Rowe, the four-star freshman from Union, he's 220 pounds and ran 4-4-4-4. Oh, you know, jumped 40 inches, Venable said. That though some of the coaching work that we've been able to work with these guys this summer, 
His fundamentals and technique, man, he's not quite as raw as we thought. Piecing together a second secondary this fall and in the future, Venables will have plenty of options to choose from in OU's cornerback room. Figuring out the right combination for 2022 is one of the several challenges the first-year head coach will navigate in the coming weeks. Yeah. I think they'll figure it out. I think they'll hold it together. Sounds like a lot of promising uh, prospects out there. Uh, coming up for oh, OU, man, I can't wait. As usual. <laughs> Great to see these dudes compete. Um, everything about to get popping off soon. You know, camp and all of that. So, we'll see how everything shakes out. Once again, this is No Laces. I'm Antonio Lamar. Hit the like, subscribe button if you haven't already. Shout out to the Tulsa Lord for the article. And I'm out.